Hey dudes and chicks and neither if those rules don't apply to you. Welcome to Baker for Last Time. My name is Katie. Today I'm just going to be doing, giving you guys a sloppy second. So I felt like I did not give the Norns collection its fair shake. I felt like I used all the, only the brushes that I had left and honestly like I felt like that really didn't get do it any justice. I felt like the brushes I used were like not my favorite brushes and they didn't give me the payoff that I wanted and they didn't do the things I wanted. So I wanted to give you guys the sloppy seconds on this and then also I'm testing out the new Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint that I told you guys that I was on the fence about. It ended up being on sale for 25% off so I got it for $31.50 which was in a adequate Katie range. So I decided to get it. I used it in this video. You guys can see if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look or hearing my final thoughts on the Norns collection, or if you just like to watch, then hang out. Oh my God, my hair, my face. Ah. <laughs> um. Um, there's a couple things I'm going to do. I'm going to just be kind of shooting the shit, get, giving you a little chit, chit chat, little chatty poo. I ordered the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. It was on sale for 25% off, so I got it for $31.50. Those of you who were here and my hump it or dump it, um, basically I was like, $42 is fucking bullshit, but I got it for $31.50, and I, I don't know if you guys recall, but I was like if they could even just get it in the 30s somewhere. So I ended up getting it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to think of some funny, good, important, useful shit to say to you guys. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this shit works for $42 or $31.50 if you get it on sale for 25% off, my hair looks like 10 bags of smashed assholes. So we'll just start with that. I'm going to use... I don't really have a primer. I try to match primers and so I'm actually just gonna go kind of a little bit natural. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go a little bit natural. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by using my brain. No, I never start with that. I never start with my brain first. Always my vagina or my heart and then my brain comes in a close second or third. Um, I'm gonna start with my Luminous Blur Stick primer and I'm just going to put it like right on my little nose. I think I'm going to put some under here just because <laughs> you can never be too luminous on the under eye. I am of the mind that this foundation is going to be pretty dewy and easy to work with. I don't really know how this is going to go. I'm going to pull the cap off and then you're supposed to push. You got to, you got to give it a little hand job here. Oh my word. My arm is tired. <laughs> oh, for the love. Oh, here we go. It's coming. <laughs> this never happens to me, I swear. There's one. So that's how it looks. If you guys can see the little dots. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, a little goes a long way. It smells like SPF. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to go one more pump. Um, I don't really care for, for, for full coverage, mostly because my skin is older. So those of you who are like kind of in the same age realm as me, I don't like regular foundation because it cakes up in all my fine lines and it actually adds age. Ooh, that looks pretty good. And I love tinted moisturizer because it's so forgiving. It doesn't leave harsh lines. You can blend it in or not. It's like just really so easy to use. And 
The other thing about using tinted moisturizer is you should always start your foundation. I'm gonna back out a little bit just because I feel like I'm a little. You should always start with the idea that you are going to be adding more. So you never wanna have the base that's the thickness that you want to have in the end because you're gonna add powder, you might go in with concealer, and always, always, if your uh, foundation is too light, you can always add coverage with your concealer or, you know, there's just a variety of different things that you can do to add. So I never start with, I like to have as little as possible to start with so that I can add if I want or not. Oh my God, my hair. I always see on people's Instagram pictures how they miss this part, and I always miss that part, which is why I always see it on other people. Unless you actually conceal around your eyebrows, which I don't. Okay, I think this looks pretty dewy right now. I haven't been filming because I started going to the gym in the morning before I go to work and everything and I've just been, my ass has been whipped at night, but I think I'm starting to make a comeback. <laughs> now if I could just do something about this unfortunate hairdo. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my bronzing stick thing in baked. I'm just kind of going minimal with the face products today. This is my Juno & Co. sponge. I learned about these a long, long time ago from Butte Bean. Hmm. I feel like this isn't blending out as nicely as it usually does when I use other foundations, so... Maybe I just forgot how to do my makeup and I need to slow down. That looks pretty nice. Oh my God, my arms are so tired from going to the gym. I'm like, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Whew, my arms are burning. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Whew, I don't remember it being that hard before. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera just because it's so fucking boring. Okay, so I primed with my P. Louise primer in Rumor 02. I did my brows. I'm going to take my Milk Makeup Blur setting powder, whatever the fuck it's called, with my Big Daddy right here. Ooh, I got a hair sliver. Boo. That's what happens when you cut red hair. Redheads give me the worst hair slivers. And I'm just gonna go right here because I actually feel like this powder does blur, which is weird. But no powders blur wrinkles. So the more powder you put on a wrinkle, the more wrinkle it is. <laughs> so I don't set under my eyes. I'm just gonna do that. I'm not gonna do anything around my forehead because my eyebrows look pretty good and I don't wanna fuck around. I'm gonna go in with my Voldemorphy M506. Old Faithful. Yeah, I'm gonna go into the Erd palette and I'm gonna use the color Past and I'm just gonna start building that in my outer V. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is a deep, deep purple. The Erd palette actually gives me the same kind of vibes as the, what? The Envy palette. It's not, it, it's not the same by any stretch, but it just gives me the same vibes. You know what I mean? The Lucky Bunny palette. Yeah, this looks very similar to the color Lola. And I'm just taking it above my brow, packing it. And I'm pulling it up so that I just have a little wing like. And then I'm gonna use my Zoeva 227 and I'm gonna go into the color Mist. And I'm gonna use that to blend that out. Okay, so this doesn't have much kick up at all. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go back in with my Voldemort VM506, back into the color past. This is a really nice color right here. And I'm just barely touching this to blend it up. I decided I wanted to give this palette another shot because I felt like I judged it pretty harshly, but I, I have told you, if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. It really is important what brushes you're using. Like if you're using the wrong brushes, you're not going to get the desired result no matter what. And so I was using uh, more loosely packed. It's the opposite of dense. <laughs> what is the word? Help me. What am I doing right here? So upon analyzation, upon analyzing it, I just realized there's like so many different textures and so, like some unusual shadows that are like shimmery in a really strange and unusual way. So I wanted to give them their fair, their moment. So I decided to redo this. And that's the reason. I told a couple people in the comments, this is the color mist out of the Norns palette. And then I'm gonna use my Spectrum A08 and I'm gonna go into the color Nostalgia. This wasn't my intention at first, but. You know, this color passed, it really just packs and packs and packs. It's crazy. D like, it isn't seeming... Okay, there we go. There's the blend. It's like, it's like never ending. It just keeps getting deeper and deeper. Every time I pack it on there, it gets deeper and deeper. You really got to coax it right here. Mm -hmm. And then back in with my Zoeva 227 into the color mist. And then I'm going to take that Voldemort M506 into the color past. And I'm bringing that all the way in. packing it right here because I always my my I have deep set eyes and so my shadow tends to miss right here and it's the same as having a hood right there where it skips right there and then it doesn't really blend that well and it doesn't create a straight line so I have to kind of um compensate for that okay now I'm gonna do something dumb <laughs> I'm gonna take that color nostalgia the green and I'm gonna use that That made me happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah. I'm packing that color past back on. That looks fucking gorgeous. 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 Mmm, love it. Okay. And then I'm going to go back in with mist and I'm just going to use that to kind of come right here. I didn't want to do it. I wanted to stay. Mm, mm -hmm. I love it. And this is no additional product. I'm just kind of going in and I can dig it. I don't know how that looks to you guys, but it looks fucking great to me. Yeah. Slayer. Okay, now, here's the tricky poo. I'm gonna go in with the old NYX Glitter Primer, and I'm not, 
I ain't just a whistling Dixie. It is the old NYX glitter primer with the old AOA E131. And I'm just going to pack this all over my lid and I'm going above my crease with it up to where my brow bone protrudes right there. Because I want it to look like I have lid all the way up to there. And then we'll see. Let's see what these motherfuckers got. I'm going to go in with this uh, crazy dark shimmer called Luxury. Or wait, is that what I'm doing? Yep, that's what I'm doing. It's what's for dinner. With my Jessup 234. I'm going to spray it so I don't get any black green fallout. And then I'm going to go into the color that looks very similar to that in texture. And I'm actually, I'm going to use the backside of that brush. And I'm going to go into the color Obsessed. And I don't think I need to spray that one. It doesn't look nearly as deadly. Come on, little fucker. And I'm just going to go back and forth between these colors until I can make them look right. Uh, I'm scared of this one. I just keep spraying it because I'm a little nervous. Ooh, okay, that's the sweet spot right there. And then I'm going back into that color Obsessed. I'm having a hard time picking it up, but... Okay. Now I'm going in with my Voldemorphy M506 into the color Past. There's something going on that I don't like. Okay, come here. I'm gonna use Jessup 227 and I'm gonna go into the color Dazed. And I'm gonna use that to blend out that green. Well, fuck it. I'm going to use it to blend out that pink too. Or that purple, that mauve color. Now, what am I going to use to highlight the inner corner? I'm going to use pink chameleon to highlight the inner corner. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. And I'm going to do it with my Zoeva 230. I think this is going to look a lot like Lightyear. Oh, shit. That looks like a bigger brush. I'm going to use the Jessup 231 to blend this out. That is not what I wanted at all. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Damn it! Well, fuck. I'm going to go into the color Green Chameleon and see what happens. I'm just going to cover that up and pretend that never happened and I'm going to spray it with my MAC Fix Plus. There we go. I guess, what am I expecting? I don't know. What do I want? doesn't matter now. It's too fucking late. I'm going to take my Voldemorphy M506 and I'm just going to take that with no additional product and just... 
Mm-hmm. Okay, I can live with that. Yeah! Okay, I'm going to do what? I'm gonna give this another little tappy, little tappy poo. Just bring in that green. Those two colors are fucking fantastic together. I knew it! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go finish my face and I'll be back when I'm done. So, this is the manifesto, the pièce de résistance. I use my Black Moon Cosmetics Black Metals Liquid Lipstick in Emperor. I use my Flower Blusher by Odin's Eye in Little Jasmine. It's from the Elva collection. I use the Norns Mesmerizer Highlighter in Veil of Future. It's the purple one. It looks like this. I use my Rouge and Rogue Eye Wigs in Electra, and I'm wearing my Love Kills Boutique gauges but one of them's broken so they don't match but for those of you who wouldn't have noticed I'm sorry I brought it to your attention and for those of you who would have noticed I had to say something so I will say don't get these highlighters they fucking suck I, they look really good I wish I wish I wish my hair looked better than these highlighters but it actually doesn't so <laughs> You know, I also use my Urban Decay 24-7 gel liner in Alkaline on my waterline. So basically, don't get these highlighters. They, I wish they did what they look like they do, but they don't. They fucking don't do shit. They barely go on. I literally applied this. I put, I dip my brush. I use two different brushes. I use my Black Moon brush and I use this, my Jessup brush. I used them both and I literally applied them like four or five times. And then I went in with my finger and tapped it on. And then I actually went in with this. You can see I like went like this to get it like actually highlight. Like don't waste your money on these. They're fucking terrible. Sorry. So my final thoughts on these two palettes together, I think they're good. I, I, are they great? I, I don't know. I need to do more looks with them. I really want to love these, so I'm going to continue to fuck with them until I do. I don't feel that way about them yet. They're good, but I just want to love them, and I'm just not feeling like I do. So maybe it's me. Maybe there's something wrong with me because they're good. They're very good. The shimmers are beautiful. The color story is beautiful. The mattes work decent. I feel like I have had to work fairly hard. I ha Granted, I have used that green color in both the looks. I don't know why I'm drawn to it. I literally went all fall without using that color one single fucking time, and now all of a sudden it's like, hands across America to use every fucking shit green on the fucking planet. This color right here, Past, is fucking good. It doesn't blend as well as what I would like, but it is the gift that keeps on giving. Like, literally, just when you think you have it as black as it can get, it's not black, it's like a purpley brown, but like, just when you think it's like abysmal as fuck and it can get no fucking darker, you can add it and it will get darker. And honestly, I could add right now and it would get darker. And so, it's an interesting color and I often find myself interested in that color, so I'm not gonna, like, knock that shit. It's a great color and I feel like I want to explore these palettes some more because I'm just not I'm not having those wow moments where I'm like sliding off my chair having a fucking eyegasm I just haven't had those moments with this and so I don't know if it, it could be me it, it's not I'm not having any problems with it I'm just not fucking blown away by it and so that makes me sad I want to be blown away by it and I can't tell if it's my fucking terrible disposition or what. So I'm gonna probably do a three looks with these. Um, I have a ton more looks in my mind that I can do with them, and so I'm probably gonna do that because you guys know how I am. If I have a hard time with a palette, if I spent my fucking money on it, I'm gonna make it fucking work good. So I spent my money on this shit, and I had to use Afterpay, and it was actually kind of a sizable Afterpay payment. But I am gonna tell you right now, I do not like these fucking highlighters. They suck. They don't have any payoff, and I'm so sorry to say that because the brand is bomb. The idea was bomb. The aesthetic is bomb. The theme is bomb. 
but I'm just not having any luck with these at all. And honestly, I feel like I watched another video that said um, she felt like it was getting hard pan and maybe it was because she used her finger. Well, I fucking just barely did the corner with my finger. And so I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to get something out of it that I can't. Maybe the gold in them is so overbearing that it's like... Um, I'm only getting gold. I I'm not sure, but I felt like I wasn't really dazzled by the blue one either. So, um, they look beautiful. I'm not, s I'm not sorry that I bought them and tested them, but I'm not, I don't feel like everybody should go buy these. Like, um, yeah, they're beautiful, but they don't do, they I feel like they're breaking promises. I feel like there is a broken promise in this fucking highlighter, right? The this is a broken promise to me. Like, this payoff for this packaging and, like, the way that it looks, I feel like it's breaking promises. So, um, I don't feel that way about the palettes. I just feel like I haven't got caught my set yet. So, I'm going to continue to work with it. You guys can look forward to that. I mean, if you're going to look forward to it. I miss you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. Hit the like button if you like this look or if you just like my sparkling personality, my boy charm and hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it. If you got about halfway through the video and you were like, God, she sure is pretty, but till she opens her mouth, then go check me out on Instagram because I don't talk as much on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. You could have been anywhere, but you were here spending your precious, valuable time with me and I totally love you guys for it. Later. <laughs> I forgot what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs>